September is atrial fibrillation awareness month. If left untreated, an irregular or often rapid heart rhythm can lead to strokes and other health complications. Aaron Maven shows you how health experts are shining a light on the signs and the symptoms. As a father and Dalsman Elementary School principal, Jeremy Monday often looks out for others. But in February 2022, his health got his full attention. I woke up in the morning to go to school, came in the school, and I was just feeling even worse than I was the day before. He drove himself to the emergency room. That's where doctors found he had a rapid heartbeat. I was an AFib at the time, and the um, it just couldn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't come out. It wouldn't come out, and it would, you know, wouldn't go back to a normal sinus rhythm. And uh, eventually they had to put me under and defibrillate me. Atrial fibrillation or AFib is a quivering or irregular heartbeat. The American Heart Association says if left untreated, it can lead to blood clots, stroke, heart failure, or other heart related complications. As the blood pools, it can clot. And as it clots, eventually can be dislodged from those little appendages and go somewhere else in the body and cause strokes. The American Heart Association says the most common symptom is a fluttering heartbeat, as well as fatigue and weakness. Sometimes people feel the palpitations. They feel the heart beating very irregularly, very fast. They may feel shortness of breath. They may feel chest pressure. Dr. Jorge Salcedo is a freighter and Medical College of Wisconsin cardiologist. Two cornerstones uh, in the management of atrial fibrillation is controlling the heart rate because sometimes the heart can go really fast and the second one giving blood thinners and blood thinners are very effective. Jeremy Monday has a device to help him keep track of his heart information called Cardia Mobile. He's also focused on living a healthier lifestyle. If my story can help somebody else, um, that's that's what it's all about. Kind In Milwaukee County, Aaron Maven, Fox 6 News.